We just made these genuine faux antique mercury mirrors and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it builder to make it? Awesome, because that's what we do here. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Tick that bell to be notified of our new video each week. This week, we're making our own mirrors. We needed something to fill up these empty spaces next to our mirror. And we can't stand here all day. Step one, gather all your materials. So we wanna attempt to make a mercury glass mirror. So it's aged looking glass, but we're gonna make that aged mirror from plain glass. It's gonna be a faux mercury aged mirror because I don't trust us with chemicals. No, I don't trust us with chemicals. <laughs> she doesn't trust me with chemicals. <laughs> so we don't want to take a mirror and strip off the paint. We're going to make a mirror. We're gonna make our own mirror. We found this mirror effect Rust-Oleum. We're using a 12 by 16 panel of glass from Home Depot. Uh, we gathered some trim pieces. We're trying to match a mirror. You saw it. So we gathered some trim pieces that'll mimic it. And we got a piece of backer board. Ours is like that uh, clipboard material. Yes, it's like a clipboard material. Yep. And some liquid nails. Step two, make all your cuts. We already cut our trim pieces and we're now gonna attempt to cut a piece of glass. <laughs> we need an eight inch piece. Is it eight or eight and a half? Eight. Okay, since we're gonna be cutting glass, it clearly states that you should use safety glasses and gloves. All right, we picked this glass cutting tool up from Home Depot when we got the panels, and now we're gonna try to cut some glass. It says to put a little drop of oil on there. So we've done that. Nice even pressure all the way across. Oops. All right, we're gonna flip it and tap it. Yep, step two was cutting it. Step three is flip it over and use the ball of this little glass cutting tool. It's a ball end. And you just tap the scored line. Oh, hey, it cracked. And it breaks the glass right on your scored line. Yeah, look at that. So let's see. Ooh. Eh, a little crooked. A lot crooked. Eh, you won't even see it. We'll put it at the bottom. Yeah, but it came out okay, not bad. I think that was my wobbly hand with the cutting tool. Yes. All right. All right. I'm gonna clean this up. The rest of these panels we're gonna use with the si as the size that they came, 12 by 16. Step three. Mock them up. <laughs> All right, we don't need the protection anymore, right? Oh. I guess not. All right, now we're gonna mock it up, put everything in place like we hope to have it. All right, so should I, uh, I guess I gotta open the rest of these. You're gonna mock it up with the glass panels, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Step four, glue it down. We're gonna use some liquid nails and some tape to glue it in place. We're just gluing the frame right now and then we're gonna paint everything and then glue the panes of glass in. Got it all taped up. Step five. Time to paint the frame and paint the glass. We use this 
rust-oleum mirror effect to spray the glass. Hey, it's a mirror. Hey. Now let's see, it's you. <laughs> awesome. Step two, it's beautiful. Now we're gonna age it. <laughs> All right, we mix some apple cider vinegar and some water, half and half. Now we're gonna make some splotches and blotches. It's going to eat through the paint a little bit and we'll get the rag and pull up some of this paint so we can see the aging through it. I don't know if you can see. Alright, it's using a twisting motion. Pull up some of that paint, it's hard to see. There we go. Okay, so now we have kind of eaten away some of the paint, the mirror paint. Now we're gonna let this dry. And we're gonna add paint to the back of this. <laughs> now I'm just gonna hit them with two different color paints on the back in different areas. All right, hold it still, let me see them. Now we're just going to finish up the back with some flat black. Step six. We glue the mirrors down. Now that everything's dry, our frame is dry, and our beautiful mirrors are dry. They look so aged. This one looks at least 150 years old. <laughs> They're going to look good. All this right. was my bright idea. And he's gonna like it. It'll look good, it'll look good. <laughs> Time to liquid nail them down. Liquid nail them if you got them. Are there crumbs in here? We've been snacking in here? Give it a no, uh, do it like an S thing. <laughs> Get that in there. Alright. Will it drop in? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Push, push. Mm, mm. Mm, get it down, babe. Mm, push it. Mm. Uh, okay. Get it. Yeah. Snug, it's very snug. I don't know if you should push it. It's in there, it's in there. All right, Ooh, that last one was snug. <laughs> all right, I'm not gonna tilt it all the way up. All right, that's what we have so far. We're gonna put some stuff on here to hold it down until it dries, and then we're gonna hang it. All right, looks good. Not sure if you can see it on film, but our lesson learned is you can see the liquid nails through the glass. Uh, the more you know. They look good though, Ben. Good yeah. job. Yeah, good, good job. job.
Do you like to do it yourself? Build it yourself? Make it yourself? So do we. So if you want to see more projects and you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And remember to hit that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. Before you go, check out one of these other videos over here, over on this side. Here's the subscribe button. Other videos to watch. <laughs> subscribe button.